Hello guys, today's video is going to be AI chassis setup number 7. So for today's video, we're going to give you another option, which is the third option to set up the front a bumplet setup. Okay, so remember the number 5, number 6, we talk about it, we use the professional angle plate like this one, carbon fiber one to give it an angle on the front uh, roller stay. And the number 6, we talk about to use the angle adjuster, which is uh put a one three degree right here and another three degree right here in this case can keep the front uh under plate and, and the flat 180 degree and the top put another three degree in the angle adjuster so that's what can bring about like three degree angle which is on the front bump plate setup again because air chassis has a little bit angle goes this direction so this is called negative angle okay so when you have a negative angle you can't set up like a bump plate setup because negative angle gonna cause you fly off on the corner or even on the straight. You have to give a angle which is positive, which is going this direction. Okay, like this one right here, we have a little bit angle going this direction. So this is how you keep your car stay in the truck. Okay, so we're using different angle plate to bring this angle back to the right position. Okay, so today's video. We're gonna do another option, which is we're gonna use this Tamiya multi-purpose tape, which is right here, and the part of um, angle adjuster right here. Okay, okay. Here's my end plate, which is for the AR chassis. It is made by item number one five four five two, which is this one right here. There are a lot of the other recommendation. Please look at the uh, AR chassis setup number five. Okay. So now I'm going to get a some of multi-purpose tape and then use a knife to cut one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. I'm gonna cut small pieces like this and put right here so just make sure you put right here which is level with the mounting point right here so the very end of edges right here okay so we're gonna keep doing that so we're gonna go ahead and put like about six to seven pieces okay so the number it's really depends on um, it's gonna be slightly different, but uh, my calculation about f sometimes five. So you just have to keep trying. So I'm gonna keep put six right now. Okay, so this is the last pieces. Okay, I just put six tape right here and then fix it. Remove the extra scrap. Like this, okay. So gonna go ahead and do the same thing to the other side. So okay, gonna be looks like this. Next, I'm gonna go ahead put this one back to the chassis and use 10 millimeter screw to lock back. So okay, gonna be looks like this. So basically, this multi-purpose tape is going to be fill the gap right here because this is used to have an angle, which is right here. If you try to fill the gap right here, so we'll bring back to 180 degree. So let's take a look at it on the setting board, which as you can obviously see, this one right now is 180 degree right now. It's not like before. It's like, uh, you know, remember before it looks like this? So right now, it's flat right now, okay? So maybe you can add one more because I still can see a very slight angle goes up like this direction. So in this case, you can put a one more piece of paper to adjust. You just have to keep adjusting to keep to putting a right amount of paper, which is um, by keep adding or keep remove the tape. So my calculation it is six or seven pieces of paper should be able to fill the gap, make it like 180 degree. So after that, there's some extra tape just using a knife to gently remove it okay like this next get a three degree angle play and the lock on top of the 
carbon fiber popsicle okay like this so it's gonna be looks like this in this case you can use two millimeter hand drill to make extra mounting point which are located right here and here Okay, I just made two mounting points right here, and then take off the angle plate. Okay, remove the extra scrap, and then using plastic cutter, remove the left wing right here, and the right wing, and also cut part of this one. Okay, this one because we're hitting the front bumper right here, so I have to remove part of that. And this. Gonna be looks like this, so this one gonna be perfectly fit to right here, like this. So then, same thing as video number six, we're gonna put a two 10 millimeter screw, okay? Just make sure here you have to remove the extra scrap. Make sure here is clean. Okay. So the angle adjuster. So here's the sink side and here's the six side. So it's gonna be go like this. Okay. Gonna be looks like this. If you want a more angle, there's another trick. Cut some tape. Okay. Make a small piece that looks like this, and then place right here. Okay, so you can keep adding like maybe two or three pieces. So here's another pieces. So I just put the two pieces right here. So this is actually what it does. It is it will bring up the back angle, so which means give you more angle on the front. So next we're gonna go ahead and put this one back. Okay, the roller stay, and then again the angle adjuster, small pieces. So we're gonna set it as a counter angle, which means it's gonna go the other direction. So remember the bottom angle goes like this way, but the top one have to go the opposite direction, like this way. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and put on it. This is actually make the screw to stay a little bit better. So it also can make the angle become more solid. So okay. So okay, gonna be looks like this. And let's put it onto the dimension box. You can see it has about like a four degree angle right here, okay. Let's take a look at a setting board. Okay, it looks like this. You can see there's very obviously there's angle goes down to that direction. So for the bottom, you can use two millimeter uh, sponge or either the standard black like 1.5 millimeter or either the gray one which is right here. This is also 1.5 millimeter. So I'm going to use the popsicle to measure right here and use a knife to cut right amount break from here then take it off and put the top of that right here so then we're gonna use multi-purpose tape and cover the top tips right here again we don't really need a break on the front that's why we have to tape it this is just for a cushion when you're hitting the slope or the bank okay so it's gonna be looks like this okay that's it here today's video if you have any questions just go ahead and leave a comment so for the next video, we're going to continue to teach you how to set up the AR bump plate setup, which is on the back.